Hey all, Raina here. I am catching up on a bunch of things at once. I record these videos a couple at a time and then I go and edit them and it takes me a few days to get things out. So I still look the same as some of my other videos. I know it's a cute look for me, right? 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 It's so stinking hot. I just cannot stand to wash my hair right now. So I put it up in the Sailor Moon buns. Little meatball head. <laughs> um, so I want to tell you about my experience um, swimming in the dive bar in Sacramento, California and being photographed by Brett Stanley who is like so huge. He's such an amazing photographer, super, super nice guy. So the dive bar is run uh, by Mermaid Rachel and uh, she has a whole team of mermaids and they perform there every night and they do these shows and oh my God, they are amazing. I have never seen a more professional mermaid team and I have met a lot of mermaids. I kind of went into this a little nervous. I didn't know everybody very well. Um, Merman Jax was there and I'm so excited to see him and these folks just got in their tank and doing their stuff and it was mind-blowing. They were just such amazing performers, just totally like, I see mermaids every day and I was like, oh my god, it's a real mermaid and oh my god, they're having a sword fight and oh my god, she's drinking beer underwater. Like, it was just so cool. It was so amazing. The dive bar itself is like really narrow and it's it's on like the street and you can walk in off the street and there's like a pizza place next door and it's just drinks, there's no food, um, but you can bring your food in from next door and you know, music and really cool lighting and everything. So when I got to go into the dive bar, I had to do my training first with Rachel, the head mermaid, and that was pretty cool. She taught me all of the safety stuff. So this is like a real aquarium. There are fish in it and plants in it. There is a pump system, there's a lighting system, and you have to be really careful to navigate that when you're in there. There's bubbles that come up, um, the fish come right up to your face. You cannot see anything when you're in it. It's salt water, if you're really floaty. You can go right up to that glass and push your face, you can't see anything, you can't see anything at all. Um, like, Sean was there waving, Brett was like waving, and I was like, I don't see anything. I don't even see shapes, it was so thick. <laughs> And so I had to get my tail on. I wasn't allowed to wear a wig, which kind of threw me for a loop because I use my wig for confidence a lot. So I was a little uncomfortable not wearing my wig. But they told me the reason I couldn't wear my wig is that they got caught in the filters too much and it broke the filters. So I totally understood. I just kind of like had to put on my big girl pants and deal with it for a moment. It was just a little hard. I had like a plan. I was gonna have like the long flowing red hair and my crown and all this stuff. And I was just like, okay, when we grow up, we'll do it. We're good. <laughs> so Rachel taught me all the safety stuff. And one of the tricky things is that like every foot there was like um, a support beam right above the water in the tank. So when you came up, you had to be careful that you didn't go smash right into it. So they kind of taught you to like come up with your arms so that you could hit the support beam with your hand. And of course, there were still moments when I hit the support beam with my head. Trying to figure out my tail, it was my first time using my Mertailer tail in salt water and I kind of overestimated how many weights I would need so at first I didn't have enough weights and I would try to pose for Brett and I'd just float the whole time and the only way I could sink was if I let out all of my air which I was sick as a dog. I had viral tonsillitis and I was just so so sick. I spent like two days with a fever. I was miserable. I was so tired. It was almost at the point of tears when I got there because I was so mad that I was sick on like my one big opportunity to do this. And um, so I had no breath hold. So trying to sink and letting my air out, it wasn't working. So we put more weights in it and at first it was okay. I started to sink, but then the weights all shifted to the fluke and so the fluke just went boom down like a rock. So then the problem is, is the photographer can't see the bottom of the tank. He can't see the ground. So I would have to hit bottom and then bounce myself up and try to pose. So. I go to admit, I was having a little bit of like a, a freak out and I was having like a diva moment. I, I didn't have my hair, I was sick as a dog, I couldn't figure out how to make my tail work and Rachel made it look so damn easy. <laughs> and it was so hard, it was so hard. I have a tank, I perform in a tank, I perform in an aquarium, I've done this stuff and I just felt like I was totally off my game because I was sick and tired and 
he was just rough and I was really intimidated by Brett because his stuff is amazing but he was so nice so we had like a walkie-talkie that was just always on right above my head and then he would give me instructions on things to do and like I went down and I held on to a skull and I went down and I held on to a mirror and I posed and he gave me lots of great directions and he understood that I was sick and I wasn't feeling well and so he taught me like all these little tricks for like how to get into the pose and be graceful and do it like quick so that I wouldn't have to worry about my breath hold. I gotta tell you, I was preparing for this trip for months. So to get sick on this trip and, and be like as sick as I was, it was such a bummer. Um, but in the end, we got amazing photos. We got really cool video. It was a really great experience. And I was so thankful that I got to work with Brett. Um, the other dive bar mermaids did too. And we got some group shots together. And it was just, it was really magical. And I see now that he's like, he hosts workshops and he's working more and more with mermaids. And like, definitely, if you can work with him, do it. Um, the prints I got from him, I loved so much. I, I never print photos of myself at home. Like, I feel like it's kind of arrogant to have photos of myself around my home unless I'm like with somebody you know it's like pictures of me and Sean or pictures of me and my nieces nephews that kind of thing but I got printed this beautiful photo that he did of me on like giant print poster so that I could have it on my wall because it was so magical and it was a reminder to me of how I pushed through and how even though I felt so vulnerable and so sick I still did it. I was still pretty awesome. I got my pictures. It was good. It was good. I was loving it. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely a check out Brett Stanley on um, Facebook. I think it's Brett Stanley Photography. He just did like some big workshop with Hannah Fraser in uh, Ginny Springs, I think it was. And he's just like, man, he's so nice. <laughs> he's just like a really nice guy. I really like him. And just like really, um, calming. I was so worried I was wasting his time just by being sick and taking so long and he was just so calm and nice and kind and gave me like great coaching. It just made me feel really good. Um, and then, you know, the pictures were just like worth every penny and I learned a lot from him. I learned it's really great when you can work with a photographer and, and learn. Um, we don't really have much for underwater photographers here, so I don't really get a chance to, to learn from them. Everything I learn is through trial and error for myself, and that's really all it is. So when I got to do that, it was awesome. Um, so yeah, if you want to hear more of my adventures, like and subscribe. Click the little bell so you get notified. You can also check out my website, mermaidarena.com, where I put all of my resources. I have my books on there and my splash and fashion clothing line as well. And yeah, just give me a like, share my stuff. It helps pay the bills. I don't make a huge amount of money from YouTube, but it definitely helps me um, so that I can keep doing things for free for other people and, and putting out these free resources. So thanks so much and best wishes. Mm -hmm.